Alright, welcome back. Last time we got through the first palace of The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Let me make sure I'm recording. I am in doing so. So, our next goal is, now that we've completed the first palace and gotten the first bow, we can now go get one of the best items in the entire game. And I'm not joking when I say this. This game, will, this item will be used through the entire game and will be the best item. Talk to Sashua. The pendant. He's gonna talk some shit about fucking the Master Sword or something and the knights and... Ugh. Yep. The Pegasus Shoes. So. Instead of having to walk from just that long, you can now simply just hit the A button and dash that entire length. And this is going to save so much time. It's not a good example here, but... One of the best items in the entire game. Because you can just skip through absolutely everything. So, what we're going to do now is... That's... We have to go to the house first and then take it down. We are going to the library. Because if we don't go to the library and get a certain book from the library, which we can now get with our shoes, we can't be able to get into the second palace. So... Uh, this is blocked. No, it's not. Okay. This man right here, he will give you um, a bottle. You just have to do a certain quest for him to like bring him a chest in the dark world, but we don't have that. And this is a place where you can get healed. Alright. So. Welcome to Hyrule Desert. That was a weird octave thing. Oh shit, we never got the book. <laughs> uh, fuck. You know what? It's honestly just easier if I just start and quit. Yep. It, it may seem like... This is not the fastest way, but I'm telling you, being able to teleport this fast is just very good. We're going to start from my house. Ooh. Hello, fairy. Thank you. So, we go down here. You gotta be careful to position yourself in the right way so you don't get fucking blown. Alright. So. There is a race we could do. I think right here. If we bomb this fucking dude's house. Fucking already- Here already replaced this drywall. And I have to come in here and just bomb his house. Don't mind me, man. He could not give two less of the shits. But, since your house was walking uh, private property, I need to talk to this girl. And she is going to... You have to be very careful here. Edge the corner so you don't go flying off and then having to do the entire thing over again. It was a really poor design. But from that, we get a piece of heart. And now we can go up here and go to the library. Now, this is our book on the shelf. You might be wondering how we get it up here. Throw the boomerang like a smart person? Nope. Run into it like a maniac. That is how you're supposed to get this book. 
Anytime you can't get something from a shelf, just run into it. Anyways, we can now just quit. And we'll have the same save file and just go back from... Fuck, not Sanctuary. Shit pops, but... Here's another thing we can do to get us a piece of heart. So this is going to be for the water dungeon, but uh, we can get a piece of heart by draining the lake right now. So we can get some bombs, just run out and come back in to reset the blocks and push this, and now we can get in here. So the thing is, we can push this lever. And now, that's going to let the water flow from the lake in order to down there. And since it drained the pond, there is now a piece of heart we grab. Now we go into the dungeon. There's probably more I'm missing, but that's fine. All in gibberish. For this thing. And if we use the book. Check. To open the forward, make a wish, and it will be granted. I don't know what we wished for. Uh, hopefully it was money and bitches. But, um... I don't speak that language. So. And now, we're in the desert palace. Urgh. And that is one of the most annoying uh, enemies in the entire game. They are going to sit there... Alright, that's fine. They're going to be a complete nuisance the entire game. This is going to lead me outside the way I don't want to go, I believe. Yeah. Do not want to go that way. Alright, so we're going to have to come back for a key. Out of you with your sea bear.
a thing they like to do a lot is, uh, candle puzzles. Yeah, that's what I thought. Sometimes this one is just not a good example of a candle puzzle, but yeah, they are going to appear the more we go into the game. Okay. okay. I do not have this dungeon memorized like the last one. But... It, no. Can we skip, like... I remember, do we have to go to the right? I don't know if we do or not. Bro, I have to... Big ass rocks. So you might be wondering, well we kind of explore the entire dungeon if we go, hold on, I can't say that right now. So now we got the power blocks, which means we can carry big rocks, but we haven't seen any big rocks this entire time. So what do we do? We're gonna have to run through here, is this even worth it? Let's go. Alright, it was not worth it. Edge this. Don't hit me! Okay. Fairies! And, uh, hold on. Alright, cool. Yes, keep the bottle. There we go. We're now filled on the edge, on the fairies. So. What are we here? Well. We have to exit the dungeon, which is really weird, and actually, this is for the real OGs. There's a secret down here, and now we have a full face. But, now that we have the master glove, or the power glove, we can pick them up and throw them. And that leads us to the second part of the dungeon. Don't worry, this is not that hard at all. Um... Wow. Pure stunned. Uh, so, this one has a red eye, which means it's going to fire multiple lasers if we get in its sensors, if I can try to trigger it. Okay, well, usually they do. Uh, I don't know why this one works. I, there is a difference, though. And this part sucks ass. Alright. And... Oh, I believe it gives you the... 
There is a room that just gives you the key eventually. Boss fight. Shit. I'm hitting WSD. What the? F All right. Well, I did something, but uh, it's going to be very hard to hit this boss. So if you see me tweaking, just know that it's very hard to hit this boss, and I think you'll see why. So uh, like these. Bombs is because the larger hit bosses make the boss better So not only do you have to hit them, but you also, whenever they appear out of the ground, you hope that they're going in the direction you want. Because they will go in a random direction. Sorry. And how long is this? 19 minutes. We can go to Death Mountain and get ready for the third one. So. Alright. Not this is. It was R. God, where? And we're gonna start from. We're gonna actually go get the, uh, some things we're missing up in the light world just before we go to the dark world. We're not going to the dark world yet, we just need to be the third dungeon, and then, um, once we do the third dungeon, we're going to get the Master Sword and then be in the dark world. But, uh, we can just go ahead and start preparing and getting all the stuff we need. Give us 500 points. Oh shit, that's fucking stupid. Okay, whatever. Never mind. Random fairy location. Okay, that's not helpful at all. Thank you. 
right up here. Yep. This is where I was thinking. I think this gives you a lot of rubies if I remember correctly. It is. Okay. I was like, is this the one? Oh, shit. Okay, we only got. I want to talk about it. I didn't think so. Can I throw a bomb at him? Nope. Wait, can I... Okay. Fuck. Alright, well, we're gonna have to go and get arrows first. That's fucking stupid. also one of the very few times you actually can see this enemy in the game. It's very weird. Ice rod is ass, I believe. And if I remember, yeah, that's why we have a fairy. If I remember correctly, oh, oh. no! like I'm blatantly missing this, but the pathing on these guys is so hard. Medusa heads are jealous. Ah! Yes! Finally. Bombs. Stop. 
bro. Bob's, if you want it, it's yours, my friend. And they're gonna tell me 300. So, now that we're newly rich, I don't... Now that we're newly rich, we can go get us a new item. And that item will be from Sanctuary, actually. Not from Sanctuary. The new item is not from Sanctuary. It is going to be uh, the most, I think, the only item in the game we really need to pay for. So, you'll see. Actually, if we wanted to, we can go to the Blast Woods before this, but these big ass frogs, we can now pick these up. And, we can get us a new item called. We can't pick up these deep seated ones, but we can pick up these big ones too. And, we can get us. go to. Oh shit, yeah, this guy's shot. You can actually kill him with the boomerang if you stop. Pop, we're just supposed to use the magic mirror and get a uh, thingy. Don't have that right now. <laughs> also, if we go up to that waterfall, I think we get our stuff upgraded. But, um, this is Zora's Domain. So we aren't, we don't take any damage from getting into the water, which is a good way to dodge these guys. Is it the upper level? Nope, it's the downward I, I remember. What do you want? Mad? You have something to ask for me? We just want flippers. This is gonna let us swim in the water. <laughs> I don't give them away for free. I sell for 500 rupees a pair. What do you do? We're going to get. <laughs> One type is a fair enough. I will give you a free bonus with your burgers. I will give you a magical water race at the sea, which makes clear rivers. When you see a whirlpool, dive into it. You never know where you'll surface. <laughs> This is the works. We should be able to swim and put on the boat to deep water. But, we go down here. And, we're supposed to drop off by that waterfall. There's a piece of water. And now we can go Sadly, it does not make this world stop by us. But uh, yeah, that was Zora's Domain, and that is the only time we ever see it. You may think that, oh, you know, we get a water dungeon, but no, not right now. But we can now upgrade our items. A mysterious moment, which what we do. So, fuck. Alright, well, we don't get anything from throwing in our bow. You only get things from throwing in your boomerang and shield. So we're gonna throw in our boomerang. That's going to give us the enchanted boomerang. And actually, um, fuck. I did it again. Just increase the speed. to the mountain. So, 
We're going to start from Sanctuary, and we are going to go to Death Mountain, which is going to be where our third and final dungeon of the Light World is going to be at. If you don't count the Cannon's Castle. Which... I... I... <laughs> debatable. So a funny thing you can do with the old man is, um, if you're running, he also runs fast. Kinda. We kinda just run very slowly. <laughs> and here is the one of the worst parts in the entire game. One of the worst... Sorry, villains in the entire game. The boulder. These boulders are going to do so much damage. They hurt like hell. He's gonna actually heal us. Yep, he's going to tell us that there's a moon pearl we can go get. Which is great. I have never explored these caves, but I believe... If we go through them, they will give us a piece of heart that we found earlier. I know that there is kind of a lot of pieces of heart, I've just never really explored this cave as much. I think this is just a circle of cons. Oh wait, this is the exact angle we come out of. I think. No, it's not. Wow, really? That's all that is? Is an alternate exit? 
I feel cheated. But, the cool thing is, we can do now is we can actually sa sa fast travel to the uh, mountain. Yeah, two hearts of damage. They're ridiculous. Dungeon's right there, and we're right here. How do we get up there? Well, we have a little portal right here. Which is going to take us to the Dark World. But, since we are do not have the Moon Pearl, which is the dungeon we're going to get, we turn into my favorite character, the Silly Pink Bunny. And this theme right here is now called the Silly Pink Bunny. But, uh, yeah. So, there is a glitch you could do to get the Master Sword, the Tempered Master Sword early. But, uh, yeah, he's gonna tell us that this is the Dark World, basically. But if you have the Moon Pearl, you can keep the original shape. Which, they can't find a way to the moon, uh, out of the place, but we can. So, the magic mirror the old man gave us will now let us transfer from the Light World to the Dark World. Going to be one of the most important items. There is, if you go up to the left, a uh, upgrade or like those medallions for the Master Sword that will upgrade it. But uh, we will leave this off for next time, and we will do the third palace. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll hopefully get this uploaded soon.